Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Bubbly, aka Pabloon, and today we are taking a look at the British heavy cruiser Goliath. It's a long time since I made a video about this ship, and it's also a long time since I played it. And since I got my battle honors this game, or to, I got my battle honors today, I thought I would make a video and kind of talk about the ship. So for the upgrades, I went with Traverse uh, Advanced Turret Elite Bonus. This is really nice to have if you're fighting DDs. For the camouflage, we have this one, the historical one. It's, yeah, it's the only one that exists. Oh, wait, that's not true. There is the uh, white and yellow one, which is probably the better camo, but I think this one looks way cooler, so I went with this. We got dispersion mod, acceleration, and concealment, and then we have John Jellico here. Now, I'm going to say a disclaimer right here. John Jellico makes this ship just really freaking perfect. Or not perfect, nothing's perfect, but it makes it very close to perfect. And the gameplay does reflect that when I play this ship. So obviously what it what he boosts is you get better heals, which Goliath has. You get exploit weakness, which is amazing. You get Mistweaver plus for your smokes. And then you get IFHE plus. If I did not have this commander, this would still be the same skills I would pick. Except for IFHE plus. I would actually go with APCS. Because Goliath AP is not bad. And I'm going to talk about that in my video here. I do believe we use it a little bit, but... I am mostly an HE user when I play this ship, but I know a lot of people out there who play Goliath tend to play this with AP, and I do think that's the play if you don't have John Jellico. But anyways, that is it for me here and the setup. I'm going to let, let you guys see the live games. Alright, let's do this. A full player game with the good old Goliath here. So I just recently, well, the last game I just played... um. Got 105,000 damage in this thing, and I completely forgot I was only that mission away from completing all the battle owners on Goliath here. So I thought I would, you know, make a video and play the ship and talk about what I think about this thing. And also, you know, try to give some tips and tricks if anybody here is interested in trying this thing. Now, I do believe that everyone who was here when Goliath came out knows about how this thing was when it first released but wargaming after well a couple of years now have buffed this thing and it actually feels pretty good so as you can see you get smoke sonar dfa and you also get four torpedoes per side and then you have these massive guns that i have to be completely honest i, for I forgot the caliber but i'm pretty sure it's 232 two something i'll put it up here you guys will see but yeah, it's a, it's an HE spearing cru cruiser, like on paper. But as many Goliath aficionados will tell you, you don't need to use the HE only. So I'm going to try to swap between HE and AP here throughout the whole game. Oh, very good job from our Shimmer there. Hopefully he's got more torpedoes to dish out. Looks like, oh yeah, Colbert got the kill. Beautiful. So Goliath here is a... It's kind of a special cruiser. It's a very, very big ship, as you can see. Tall freeboard, massive superstructure. But you get some pretty interesting tools to use here. As you can see, we just got the DCP on this uh, Worcester here. So I'm going to actually shoot my first salvo at GK. Because Worcester's damage control has not run out yet. And now that it has run out and it's not ticking anymore, I'm going to make sure that he gets a nice little HE salvo here. Because he, he looks like he could use one. Hopefully we get a triple fire. So that when I play Goliath, I always I always go for HE. But when I get close enough, or if somebody's presenting a good enough broadside, I will use the AP. Because, uh, to truth be told, the AP does not mess around on this ship. It's not as bad as people would have you believe, really. It's uh, still very decent. And now it looks like uh, that Worcester actually survived. I'm just quite surprised. If we get that last fire here, that would be beautiful. Along with the, uh, you know, smoke, there it is, smoke, radar, sorry, sonar, DFA, HE, torpedoes, the whole nine yards, right? You also get super heals, or the same heals that San Martin has, and you get four. So, you're quite well suited, and we're getting flanked, okay. We are getting flanked, folks. Maybe we should worry about that, to be honest. I think I might have to leave the cap here, even though I don't want to. I would very much like to stay here and farm these battleships, but it seems we we have to go out and deal with this guy. So what is it? It looks like a... 
could be a cruiser of some sort. Uh, what is this? It's a Harukumo. Okay. So we're currently broadside to a lot of things. This is dangerous. But uh, Harukumo should be pretty easy to deal with as long as we stay behind the rock here. Oh, we got a Summers behind us as well. Okay. I'm going to instantly damage control this. And see if I can take a punch at this Summers here. Yeah, you see the Goliath HE is very, very devastating to DDs. And the reason I'm using HE most of the time is because I've noticed that sometimes you tend to overpen even at longer distances with Goliath. So, I just tend to stick with HE, even though AP would also be, you know, pretty good against these little DDs. I'm gonna have to use my speed here to get away. I have to go for Harugumo now. Oh, we got a good salvo on him there. I'm very happy with that. Hello, Mr. Harugumo. Let's slow down. He's gonna turn the other way. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm waiting for that turn. There it is. Let's send one salvo. <laughs> I think that's a triple permafire, man. Helix Felix, I yeah, you should not mess around with a uh, Goliath, bro. That is just not a fight you win. Especially not if you if you notice. There you go. If you notice we have a sonar, right? That that is the reason I, I'm able to take those fights. Alright, so this game's pretty much over. Let's see if we can hop in another one. Maybe get you know some opportunities to farm damage here because obviously we had to deal with these DDs. Alright, second game up here. We got some Smolensk, Kronstadt, two FDGs. And unfortunately, there's also a bunch of destroyers. But the map Typhoon's Eye here is, is actually a lot easier to, you know, avoid getting mega flanked. So, I think I'm going to go to B. I mean, this is where we spawn. Generally, guys, it's a good idea to go down the flank you spawned on. But it, it, I'm pretty sure the battleships will be over here because our battleship spawned on this side. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm hoping to farm some FDGs this game, so I'm going to be quite annoyed if I see de only destroyers. Not that I have anything against destroyers, but I, I want to farm damage. I want to get high numbers, because that's the whole reason I love Goliath. This thing can easily pop out 120,000, 110. You know, it's, it's pretty much about getting lucky with the fires. Or if you're facing a ton of cruisers like Jinan, Colbert, Minotaur. Just using that AP to absolutely crunch their HP. Okay, let's see. Where are the enemies? We know there's DDs because the only ship that could get to be that fast are destroyers. So, I'm just waiting for my Shimakaze to spot something here. Because I, I don't want to be pushing up in this thing. We don't turn very fast. We don't accelerate fast either. So, oh, we got a gearing right here first customer up we didn't hit the front shells oh boy i think this gearing has to turn <laughs> he's gonna make it yeah look all their ships are over there what the hell okay we're just we're just gonna push this we me and fritz here we have to push we we can't neglect like how, why did they all go over there please like it's this is why it's impossible to be a youtuber sometimes man when you try to get that gameplay the whole enemy team just runs the other side. It's... God damn it. We also have a Grosovoy here. Who's reversing. Uh, without really turning. I mean... Oh, we dodged those torpedoes. That's great. I'm actually going to smoke up here because... I think Gearing might be launching torpedoes. It's not worth it to get hit by those. Or at least all of them. Oh my god, what is this Grosovoy doing? <laughs> You're lucky I was shooting at Gearing, bro. I didn't expect you to leave your smoke. Ah, he's gonna turn around, is he? Torpedoes! Oh, there, there's the Gearing torpedoes. Well, I'm an idiot. There's, nice they're slow. Shot. Wait, can we just... Oh, we got hit by two. That's that's actually not too bad. We just managed to squeeze in there. I didn't get a fire on Gearing, so AP would definitely be the, the best option here, but... I don't want to swap, so... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here they are. Okay. Great. There is also a Smolensk here. So... Yeah, that's a double fire. Okay, he instantly repaired that. 
I'm gonna use this island here as my protection, really. See if we can minimize the targets that could shoot at us. Right now, it's just FDG. But it seems Kronstadt... Kronstadt, Kronstadt, Kronstadt is also trying to... We got a Regolo as well. This is a, a big push they're making here. We, hit the enemy. we got Grozovoy behind us. I think I'm going to try to get into a position where I can sail away because they are getting mighty close, these guys. Grozovoy is over there. Nice He's still not on a double fire, which is very sad. We're going to have to turn again. I'm going to activate Sonar here because... Uh, I don't know if they launch torps. Yeah, that's the Golo torps. Grosovo is still going at the same direction. That's good. I would love to get that Grosovo torps, but I know it's not possible. Okay, Jotland's also down. Oh boy. Okay, FDG's dead. We are going to smoke up here. And then we're going to start hitting these DDs as much as we can. Nice, 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 nice team. Earrings over there. J Capture cost. AMP. Hit one. Okay. Well, there's a FDG pushing this way. There's also some lens right behind him. I think my DDs will be able to take Roger. out the Rogolo if I just help. Yes, I am. A, I'm aware, bro. I'm aware, but I'm trying to stop a push here. <laughs> I'm trying to stop a push, people. Our BBs, our BB out there is doing a great job of defending. Who is that? It's oh, it's another crunch dot and an Iowa. Okay. So you can see how devastatingly powerful this is with the heal, the smoke, the sonar, and just the ability you have to sustain damage. This thing is a tank. With a big T, if you ask me. And that's also one of the reasons I think this is a great ship. That is highly underrated. Like, this thing can tank for days. Now, I do have Legendary Commander in this thing. So, obviously, my my heals are better. They improve... Uh, Jellicoe improves their healing. So, my heals are very good, obviously. And they, they, they heal me for quite a bit. But without a Legendary Commander, this is also a great ship, I would say. Back in the days, it, it wasn't a great ship, but nowadays it is. And look at that, we just dunked on his rudder and engine. Let's try that AP. If he doesn't die instantly. I mean, Kronstadt could definitely take him out here. <laughs> Come on, stop. Yes, yes, stop. Let me get the salvo, let me get the salvo. Come on. Baby, 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 let's go, let's go. No, he's dead. Wait. Hey, there it is. Well, GG. Quite a, quite a hectic game right there. Um, I wasn't so sure we were going to win that, but we got the MVP. Um, I was hoping for higher damage numbers, guys, but you saw we had our hands full, and we still managed to prevent the enemies from pushing. So good job to my, uh, I think this is Kronstadt, and Iowa did a great job defending, and uh, I guess also this Shimakaze. So uh, awesome little games there, two, two great games, and I guess a crazy way to showcase how powerful this ship is in my opinion if, I, if i'm just going to show my stats and this is not to gloat this is just to kind of prove that this ship is not as bad as people say let me just find it there it is i almost, I almost have 200 battles 75 uh, percent win rate four destruction ratio and 71 average damage it's not bad 71k it, people some other people have probably have much higher but as you know, that's not really what I care about. I care about this stat, and I think 75 is really good. Um, and I remember I played this ship before the, the nerfs hit, and it, I was still able to manage that. So I think this thing has been, you know, underestimated too much. I think people have really not given it a chance. So if you are out there and you're wondering if this is a ship you should grind, I would say yes. The grind itself sucks. It's a really tough grind. But once you get to Goliath, you know, you get everything that you need to be a, a cruiser that can handle itself at tier 10. I also forgot to mention that the AA is actually not bad at all. I mean, the small caliber is 431 base. And once you add on a DFA 2, then, you know, you get 100%. So it's 826 damage, small caliber. So you will shoot down the squadrons. You just won't prevent them, which honestly ain't that bad.
So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have this Goliath. And tell me what you think about it. If I'm off. Or if you've had horrible experiences with it. I would love to hear it. My name has been Bobloon, aka Pabloon. And I am signing out.